The bloody mod by Thunder Toys is the one six scale figure we are going to check today. Hello, how's everyone doing? Welcome back to my channel. After So So Toys released their tactician, which was a really great figure, we got now the Thunder Toys version of Bloodsport from the last Suicide Squad movie. And here is the art box that it comes with, with his yellow and bullets going around the bloody mod. Pretty similar art box as we saw before with their Thunder Ranger figure. But this is the art box and here we have in the first layer our figure, the head sculpt with some extra accessories too, but we are going to check the head sculpt first. Here it is, this is Thunder Toys work on the head sculpt for our blood sport, or should I say Idris Elba, which I think looks pretty okay. I know that there's been some controversy around this head sculpt, it's not an easy one, but if you want to compare it with the So So Toys version, I'm going to bring it in and you can see which one you prefer. In my opinion, I would prefer a mix of both, they are not perfect, but I still think the Thunder Toys one, it's a bit better because of the color they choose to use. I think the Soso Toys one, there's too much brown coloring. I prefer a bit the darker tone of Thunder Toys, but this depends on the preference. Let me know in the comments which head sculpt you prefer, Soso Toys or Thunder Toys. As for other accessories, we got here a Easter egg. They send us Starro, the starfish from Suicide Squad with his big yellow eye in the center is a smaller form, but it's a quite nice accessory and looks really good. We got as well here a piece of his model organ we will check later, but let's take just a quick look at these gloved ends, which I think they look pretty okay. They do look like they have some wrinkles, which I like these kind of details. The paint in some areas, to be honest, is a bit rough, but I still think it works quite okay. I do like the coloring. The weathering they did on the gloves look quite okay. I don't have big complaints. Then we got here the second layer, basically with weapons and the display base. And we are going right to here, the biggest one. This is the one that most people like from Bloodsport. And this comes with a lot of weathering. And I do like the color they did on this. It's a heavy piece because the modular piece, the smaller one inside, you can actually move it and remove it and use it as a single gun, which is pretty, pretty cool, being really modular as it should be. This one, the smaller one, is made of die cast, so it's quite heavy, but nevertheless, I think it's a great idea to use this gun as it is. Then you got here this kind of rotor that you can apply. It rotates without any problem. I think Thunder Toys did this gun pretty, pretty well. The So So Toys one is just one piece, at least with this one you have more options and it's always great. We got then as well these two smaller weapons, these are made of die cast in the handle side, the rotor here in the front you can remove it if you want, is made of a rubber material, I think this weapon looks pretty cool and the paint application looks good too. We got then as well this tiny pistol that Bloodsport used in the end of the movie. This is a really tiny piece but it's made of die cast. And then we got here this mace, very pointy, take care when you use it. Comes with a string but they forgot to add a ring like Soso -So Toys did. And finally we got our display base in a round shape with our crotch grabber as well. The same patterns as we saw on the art box the bloody mod. Taking a closer look now at our blood sport uh, suit, that looks pretty cool, I like the material, they use a kind of fabric, and here we start with the boots. There's a lot of weathering going here in the boots, I do like the detail, the sculpt detail they did on the boots, it's really really good. These are split cut boots, so it will be much easier for you to handle articulation. We got then here on the top some kind of ankle braces, that have some parts in die cast. M many parts here on this outfit are done with die cast. The material of the pants is like a fabric, but looks pretty, pretty okay. You got here a lot of details going on on the sides of his vest that I think look very good. The coloring looks good, the weathering too. Then you got his utility belt, you cannot move it. 
The chest part is all made of plastic, but those braces are all made in die cast. Like these wrist braces too, this is all die cast material, so they are in fact a bit heavy, but I do love the paint application and the weathering they add on to this. In general, the outfit I think looks really, really good. Then here in the back, you got this kind of bomb is made of rubber. You can remove it if you want. I'm not going to remove it for now. And then you got here his blade that is attached, is glued to the suit. You cannot remove it. So take care with that. As for the mask that sculpt, it's pretty, pretty good. I think they nailed it. I like the coloring variation. If you want to compare it with the Soso Toys one, you can see there are different tones, different color variations that both companies used. The Soso Toys one is more a bluish color, while the Thunder Toys goes more for a greenish color. Uh, one thing also, the Thunder Toys body is more bulky. The Soso Toys one is a bit thinner, but you can see here a comparison between both. They are very similar in some parts, but in the overall, the Thunder Toys body, it's indeed more uh, bulky. I think you will not go wrong with both, but in my honest opinion, I prefer the Thunder Toys one in some way resembles better the body composition of Blood Sport. Here you can take a look how our Blood Sport looks with a head sculpt. This is a kind of head sculpt that looks better when you look upside down because the eyes are looking up a bit. As for our figure articulation, I think it works pretty common as any 1-6 scale figure would. You got good articulation in the elbows, of course, that die cast pieces over there, you always need to move them. The suit does restrict a bit to rotate the arms, but I don't think it's a huge problem. The torso movement is very restricted because of the chest piece, but the head sculpt you do can rotate. The downwards is a bit hard because of the high collar. In the legs you do have the usual uh, double jointed knees, and as you can see the suit is a bit large, so you will not have problems for then any movements you want to do, then you just need to adjust a bit. As for the boots, of course you will have a good articulation since they are split a cut, so it allows for more movement with them. Uh, the suit, I really like the material, I think this uh, Blood Sport from Thunder Toys is a very solid figure, it all depends in your taste, if you prefer the Soso Toys version or this one. I did have fun taking some photos with this version, I do like more the coloring and the body that they use. That's all for today, I hope you enjoyed this review and I will see you in the next one.